All right, we're back for the first round. Um, this is kind of an awkward hand. We have a turn two call of the Conclave, which is nice, but then nothing until turn five. And uh, like I said, during deck construction, we don't have a ton of three drops. So unless we draw something like, like Golgari Key Rune would be the ideal draw after this. So we can go turn two call, turn three Key Rune, turn four uh, Long Legs. Uh, we're also on the draw, which is unfortunate, but it does give us another chance to uh, draw something to play on turn three, so I'm going to keep this hand. At the very least, we have a 3-3 three, three blocker for whatever he plays in the first couple turns. Looks like he's blue or something. Azorius, which could be bad. Oh, doorkeeper, that's very bad. Oh, that was a very good draw for us, so we'll go ahead and run out our Call of the Conclave. Which won't be able to attack for a while because of that doorkeeper, but as soon as we get Knightly Valor online, it'll be it'll be able to get in there. Unless we want to put it on something like our Sunspire Griffin. I have Sky Knight. Uh sure. It doesn't actually do anything right now. <coughs> um I don't think I want to trade off my Sunspire Griffin for his Sky Knight. Um Although this does, if I did, it would stop like fairy imposter shenanigans or something like that. I'm obviously still going to play it here. Um, nothing else we can do. Plus if he attacks into it, that could indicate he has a trick like swift justice or something. I could just wait until I have swift justice to combat that. For now, I'll just let it slide. Hmm, chronic flooding, huh? Doesn't do anything this turn. Oh, he's like straight mill deck. That's cool, I guess. Um, so yeah, Avenging Arrow is not going to be super good this game. Mana Bloom was would have been a good draw last turn, I think. Um, I guess I'll play it for two now, so I don't have to flood myself out. But it'll be helpful when I can get my Horn Colors Chant out. For now, the plan is just sit back and uh, yeah, we'll do this for two. Sit back, play my Knightly Valor on my Sunspire Griffin, and start bashing in the air before he can mill me out, basically. Right now he can mill me for two a turn. Once he gets up to uh, six mana, it can be four a turn at the minimum, in ca unless he plays more defenders. Um, but yeah, for now we can just only sit back and wait. He only has two cards in hand, which is a little, little nice. Alright, he has nothing to do, so he's probably just going to mill me end of turn, which is fine. Skymark Rock, huh? Toughness two or less, that's actually not very good for me right now, because of the Sky Knight. Um, I think I'm just going to play Knightly Valor on my Griffin. Now the question is, do I want to pay 5 with the Guild Gate or the Mana Bloom? Because if I use up the Mana Bloom too much, um, I'm going to have to return it to hand and I might want like the blue mana or something. So I think I'm just going to risk it and mill myself for 3. Because I think I can race him. Let's see what I mill. Okay. Key Rune. Herald, Gatekeeper Vine, which is actually fine. I didn't really want any of those this game. See, I'll put Knightly Valor on this. If he has removal, he has removal, but whatever. Yeah, he can't trust Shawnee's Judgment this turn, so at least I'll be getting in for four for one turn. I'm guaranteeing that he won't be able to uh, attack me this game, basically, even though it doesn't look like that's what he wants to do anyway. He's going to mill me for three, or for two. He gets a Void Welder. Alright, so yeah, now he's milling for four, so he's got me on a bit of a clock while he's playing something. Hmm, okay, so he's he's definitely, like, going hard in the paint on this doorkeeper strategy, which is fine. Um, hmm, arrest? That stops one of his doorkeepers. It also stops his Sky Knight from blocking, which means puts him on a 
four turn clock, which might be too slow. I'm not actually sure. Um, hmm. And it's actually not a four turn clock because of this Aqua Steed. Unless we wanted to arrest that, but that doesn't seem worthwhile. <sighs> How do I want to play this? Um, I think I attack first and see what he wants to do. And then make my decision after combat on whether I want to arrest something or play out my Skymark Rock. He's probably just going to take it. Yep. Um, hmm. I think I can play the waiting game a little bit longer if I if I kept his doorkeeper under wraps. Because then he's only going to be able to mill me for two a turn. Which is going to take him like 11 turns. Or I guess more like nine. Because I have draw steps to do. So, uh... Hmm. Long legs isn't going to do anything. Because he's just going to block with doorkeeper. And make it minus two, minus oh. Um... Hmm. I think I'll just play a rest. Er, I'll play out my Skymark Rock so I can start getting some damage online. It's a May ability, so I could choose not to uh, bounce a Sky Knight if I wanted to. <clears throat> What's he doing? Axe Pain Guardian. Alright, so now is, I'm definitely going to arrest one of his doorkeepers because it's going to start milling me for 6 a turn. That's just too much. Swift Justice, huh? Hmm. Um, that could be useful to uh, counteract some Aqua Steed shenanigans. Um, unfortunately, the only creature I can bounce with Skymark Rock is the Sky Knight, which means he'll be able to detain something next turn. <clears throat> uh, let's see what that does for him, though. Uh, if I do that, I'm getting in for 4, 7... Uh, well, only five, I guess, because of the steed. Unless he wants to doorkeeper me. Let's uh, let's play a doorkeeper right now and see what happens. Or arrest, rather. So he can only mill me for three a turn. Hopefully he does this in response. Because then he's probably just going to die. Yeah, my plan is to make him mill so that he can't activate Aqua Steed. So then I attack, I bounce his... Mizium skin, huh? Hmm. That's kind of annoying. That means I can't bounce a Sky Knight either. Sure. Um. I think I'm going to attack into a Sky Knight. So if he blocks, I can Swift Justice and kind of blow him out. Even though the lifelink is not going to be relevant this game, unfortunately. we'll do that yeah I don't know what we can sideboard against doorkeeper unless we have like a psychic spiral in our graveyard or something which actually would be pretty sweet because it looks like he's just all in on doorkeepers now he's milling me for six a turn which is a three turn clock which means I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm, bleh, I'm gonna have to kill him in the next two attack steps basically but I'm getting in for 5 a turn, which means he's going to have to draw something to deal with my flyers. Unless he has like an avenging arrow in hand, which would actually be pretty good. Um, he only has one card in hand though, so I feel like we can do this fairly easily. I think I'm just going to get in. I have to be mindful of the clock too, because I have been known to run out of time before. Okay, yeah, he's just going to... Sure. So I'm getting in for, for 5, he goes to 3. Um, he's just dead next turn unless he draws an answer. He could have an Avenging Arrow also right now. Or he's just going to mill me. Yep, I think I'm in the clear. Oh, uh, uh, It didn't matter if I play anything really. Armory Guard like literally does nothing. Oh right, he can mill me with uh, Axe Bang Guardian too. Sure. <clears throat> Curious what his one ha card in hand is, but... I still think we have this game. Yep. All right. Let's see what we can sideboard against. Chronic flooding dot deck. 
Um, we do indeed have a psychic spiral. Definitely bringing that in. Search the shitty is just bad. Um, Annihilating Fire seems like it'd be pretty strong if we could get rid of his doorkeepers. Is it worth it to splash a fifth color for Augur Spree or maybe take out a color? <coughs> We're playing a Bant deck with Augur Spree in it. That doesn't seem right. <coughs> um, hmm. No, I think uh, like Void Welder and Psychic Spiral are going to be enough to counteract the, the doorkeepers and anything else. Um, Annihilating Fires, no. Ethereal Armors, um, I didn't see much removal, as in I didn't see any removal. Um, I could like Chronic Flooding myself, but then I might mill my Psychic Spiral, which would be bad. <coughs> Cross the Monitors are literally do-nothings here. Um, so I think I take out the... Let's see, what can we take out? Deathrite Shaman's actually going to be very good in this matchup to uh, <clears throat> feed my own graveyard and kill him or gain life, even though that gain life isn't going to do much. Um, <clears throat> I'll take out the Armory Guard because it does nothing at all because he's not going to be attacking. <clears throat> 